you know, the you know reference uh, JR, but, but I couldn't find one, and no one in the venue found one. So we're going to jump into the set. We got Light versus the great Gonzalez, Gonz himself. Saddle up for a good match ahead of us. Light has been doing a fantastic job as of late, mm -hmm. rocking the house in New England, doing great, of course, when he travels, and Gonz having been one of the strongest players to come out of New Jersey, of course, rocking the Palutena besides the signature nest. So this is actually going to be a very fun matchup to see between the two of them. We start things off Pokemon Stadium. Mm. Both these players have shown a lot of excellent control of the stage in the past against similar matchups, but against themselves. I don't know if we've seen these two play, but Light is looking to come out the gate strong. I mean, honestly, that that, that almost looked autopilot -y. Not Not to discredit Light, but the fact that you get the sour hit neutral air into an up smash, like that's just like the bread and butter, you know, from Fox. So, of course, the second he sees an opportunity for that, Great Gonzalez has got to be on the lookout for that. So, you know, Light off to a fantastic start, looking for a Shine Gimp off stage. Could have uh, been devastating, but it is Palutena, though. Warp will be able to recover from literally a mile away. Yeah, uh, if anything, Light can just try to force the damage on Gons. Yeah. Because there's not much else you can do against him, especially if you're going off stage. While it's difficult, well, it's simple to try and catch the warp at its end point. Obviously, you're not going to be able to trace that as it's going. Unless and, you're at the first. And even right there, there was like little to no reaction from both Light or Gons when he got that stage spike against him. Light knew that he was going to tech that. And that's what you'll see that like capability from like top players. They expect to get the tech. They've trained for so long in order to get it. You know. On top of that, this is a matchup that's becoming very tried and true throughout the entire Northeast. We have a lot of Palutenas, we have a lot of Foxes, and while there may not be a lot of Foxes that match up to this level of play that Light is able to bring to the table, Palutena's a target that's always on his radar, and Fox is an ever-present threat that Gons is ready to contest. And in Connecticut alone, you know, he's always fighting against Palo, so again, he's already got an uh, overlapping him on the stock, managed to get that confirmed into an up smash. That was pretty cute. You see a lot of cute connections over there. Yeah. Both of these players are pretty well acclimated to being able to just swing and roll with the punches. It just fits into the fluidity of their play. But then you just get to see the quirky stuff like that. Here's the Fox Fire. Connect our up airs. Let's get our game one rolling. Lights favor. And yet another missed opportunity for Gons. He didn't go for the tech, so of course Light's going to go for the follow-up with it. And it's looking like a walk in the park for him. Honestly, Gons going to have to mix something up, try to get this going. I mean, Palutena obviously can work in this matchup. It's a really strong character. I know we might be thinking about Ness later, you know, coming up in the future. And seem to be, yeah, he's putting in a new rule, uh, new name tag. All right, so the Ness, I think, is a, a good pick from him. I don't know how well practiced it. Even following with a Smash 4 tag. Yeah. All right, that's cute. I like it. The thing is, but like, Ness, you don't really see too often in Ultimate, except at, like, locals, you know? You'll see, like, you know, I, the ones I think of off the top of my head are, like, Austin from Texas. You've got uh, Foe from Las Vegas. You know, they're, they're both, like, representing their cities really well in the local scene. Then you also have Dark Matter, who's sitting in top 32 as well. So. Indeed, indeed. If there's any place for you to find random high-level Ness play, it's going to be right here in New Jersey. You've got so many Nesses. They, they do. They, like, they, they, I, I guarantee you they've never played Earthbound in their life. I, I don't know about Gons. He's, oh, Gons he's, might be a fan. Yeah, Gons know? is, like, a <laughs> big collector of games, so, like, I would not put it ahead past him to play it Earthbound, maybe even Mother 2 as well, just to say he can do that. Mother 2, the Japanese version. Indeed, indeed. But oh nonetheless, gosh. we're worried about the nest that's right here on screen for Smashville. Smash Ultimate. And Smash is the setting. This is a pretty tried and true matchup when it gets to happen and it's not a button yeah. check. The thing is hits. about with, with Smashville for Ness, it's a really strong stage because it limits the options of where Fox is going to be able to run. It allows Ness to be able to catch his opponent more cleanly because you know when Fox gets into that high percentage range, He's going to be looking for the grab. He wants to get the back throw near the edge of the stage at Smashville. Is the perfect opportunity to do that, as well as trying to jump onto the platform to catch him center stage. On so, top of that, in general, Ness is excellent for stuffing out the spaces because he can just stay on top of them, stick with really strong aerials, good interrupting normals on the ground, and the edge guarding situation is immaculate for Gantz. Besides his grab, we're going to see that yo-yo come out a lot. We're going to see plenty of Nairs stuffing him out. It's going to be a very interesting game to him. To try to catch Fire Foxes and the Fox Illusions as well in the same regard. N neutral air out of shields also going to be an incredibly strong option. You see Fox coming in. It's a good get off me move. Like, what, what did I do to you? Get off. And but we're going to see that a lot. He ate his double jump. The down smash might be able to finish it, but the Fire Fox comes back in hot. One thing that I'm expecting to see out of Gons, I want to see if he gets some bold play going out of his Ness. I want to see that down air. Down air reaches a little bit further than from initial release with Ness. It might be just the ticket if he needs, if he can catch that Fox Fire. But again, that's still contesting light offstage, and that itself is a dangerous task regardless of the character matchup. 
Yeah, I'm noticing that life is going for up smashes a lot. Oh, the patience right there, waiting for the air dodge back into the ground. You notice that he's like waiting to see how his opponent reacts before committing to an option, not just going for a button mash completely. And he, he just... <laughs> Just call him out. He called him out, dog. Like, he, got, he got him caught in the PK fire. And it's like, I'm going to do my classic run up, go for the grab. It's the classic uh, nest tech. But I think Light was like, oh no, I'm in I'm in danger, psych. Oops, smash. But meaning easy peasy gets the grab, gets the back throw, evening up the stocks. Everybody looking for that hit. Let's see where we go. We got the nair. Look at this train of hits and the up smash. All right, it's not going to be killing, but plenty of damage out on the board. And one thing I want to bring up real quick with Light is how fluidly he's moving across the stage. He's being very aware about how to move across the sole platform on the stage so he can try to catch no matter where Gons is moving throughout the combo. Now, he went for the back throw on the edge there just to get him off stage because that's that's his game plan. Gonzalez wants to get Light off stage to try to counteract him. That's where Fox can kind of be weak. But there goes the second stock already. Right off the bat, gets the neutral air to PK fire combo. Wasn't quick enough to get the grab right afterwards. And Light's going to try to capitalize. Home run bat, not enough to get that kill. 109 off stage. Holds that yo-yo for a year and not able to get the edge guard again. I mean, that's that's on Light's part, right? Light is actually recovering like very carefully to get back onto the stage to avoid the yo-yo. He's going at such a slight angle. Look at that. Check out how Light is boxing at the ledge here with Bounds. Yeah. He knows to be viscerally aware of not oh, just the grab threat. That just, Ooh. No, he's dead. That was really smart on Light's part. He got he hit indeed. by the PK Thunder because the second PK Thunder collides with an opponent, it doesn't go as far anymore. So he won't put, like if he wasn't in the way, he would have caught the ledge. So Light seen the opportunity. He has two stocks to play with. Of Why not go for it? The second that shine spiked happened, his fate was sealed. Like people who awoke, they're gonna try to body block the Thunder from Spark itself. Broke tactics, get right in front of Ness. He's just right in front of, like, no, that, that's honestly, that's his MO for Light. That's no fear. He goes wild. What's he got to lose? He's already two games up in the set, which, by the way, best of five sets from yeah. here on in tonight's bracket. So, he's been chilling. We're going back to Smashville for game three. I'm interested to see what Gons changes up in his play, because I feel like every time advantage went into Gons' favor, it was just quickly leaving. This ledge play is not the best. It's not the best we've seen out of Gons in general, not just his Ness. And Light just keeps on whacking at him every time he gets the opportunity. Yeah, I mean, he, like I said, he just, he's really good at just racking up the damage as fast as possible. He's very extremely clean with his conversions, too, right there, like the dash stack into the up smash. Knows exactly when the percents are going to happen. Even when he gets a soft spot narrow, waits for the double jump before going for the back air right afterwards. It's just it's just clean play from Light. I mean, I remember in the beginning, Light was like the firecracker, you know? He was the dude getting all the wins. He was the one on everyone's radar. That's why he got picked up by Rogue. He had such a strong start to the game's release, and even at that, while he's faltered in the grand scheme of the narrative, he's still standing really strong, still managing top eights, top fours at amazing events. Not just the local stuff here in the Northeast, but see if Gons can try to match this out, because this is another player that stayed very strong on the radar, at least here at home. He's done an excellent job of repping New Jersey at multiple tri-state events. He's done a good job of at least repping what you can do trying to fight off against a top talent like this, because most play players are going to balk at the idea of trying to fight against Light in a best of five. He actually kicked the PK Thunder with the back here just to get from not activating. Smart stuff coming out, using his just one hitbox, his foot. It's made of metal, I guess. Nice call out. Recognizing he wanted to go for the new Nair at a shield. Waited for it, went up, up smashed. One stock away from moving on to the bracket with a 3-0 victory. I mean, Gonzalez is not out of the woods just, I mean, he's coming, he's bringing it back. You know, slowly but surely, this could be the start of something beautiful for Gans. One thing that I want Gans to realize is that almost every instance of him going off stage or losing a stock is from Light Whiff punishing him. He sees a whiffed aerial, he sees some sort of check on the ground, and he just eats for it. But if Gans starts to throw out a few less hitboxes, maybe dash back and forth, put a little bit more focus on his movement, I feel like the tides can turn into his favor. This is still a very doable game three. He's got him off stage. Hold on a second. That platform saving Light's life. He could have been easily caught by the PK Thunder. Of course, Light recognizing that he had the opportunity to go for that. But now Gons has got him off stage. 112%. Misses the tag. Follow ups for days. Look at this pressure coming out from the up airs and the neutral airs. Light calls him out with that up smash off stage. 104% on Great Gonzalez. He whiffs! Oh, no. He tried to go for the air dodge to get back up a little bit. Try to grab onto the ledge, but unfortunately, too low. Misses the ledge. Light going out with a 3-0 victory. He's going to move on into the top 16. All right, excellent play from Light. 
goes to show that he's come here to win. Yes. He's not looking for any games. Last time he was in New Jersey, disgraced by the likes of Nairo. Yep. 